What's going on, everybody? Yeah, Kings 101 here today, and I have comic book store pickups. And then, the reason why I'm doing this video like early is because I've been off school for the last two days, like yesterday and today. Because on Wednesday, I broke my ankle. <clears throat> and uh, I wrestle, so, like, sometimes they'll make us go against the varsity, and I'm a freshman. The varsity junior seniors, like, these guys are, like, really good. So I ended up, like, getting my ankle broken, so... I went to the comic store yesterday, and I traded in some stuff, and I got some really nice books. Um, I only got one new book, The Walking Dead 123, which is really good, which was really good. The ending is shocking. It's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil the rest. And I went up to the counter with this, and Spirit Spider-Man 29, and I, I didn't have 28 cents. And the guy like, couldn't borrow me 30 cents, and I would have paid him back. So I was pretty mad. I was just like, I was just like tempted to just like sit on the floor and start reading it there. I'm gonna throw up. It's too little. So that's the only new book I got, and then I got two really cool Walking Dead back issues. I got uh, the Walking Dead '82 No Way Out Part Three. So I have No Way Out Part One, Part Three, and Part Five. I'm trying to complete the Walking Dead '50, all the way to current right now, and I'm doing pretty well with that. I have a run of like, I have 77 to 80, and then like 82, 84, 88, and then like a few others. So that was, um, I traded in one Batman book for this, and it was like a crappy Batman book. That's I'm trying to get rid of my DC books right now. This next book is one of the best keys in my collection. Definitely in really nice condition. The Walking Dead 92. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw this already if you saw the post I made yesterday, along with the other two books. And it was priced at 25 which is even a good deal because eBay is like 35 to 40 And um, I traded in five Iron Man books from the 100s, which are worth about $3 each. So it's like $15 worth, like $20 worth of Iron Man books for this. Which is, which is like anyone would probably do if they're a diehard Walking Dead fan like me. So I'm so happy to get this. First appearance of Jesus, if you didn't know, that's why it's worth a lot. First, or Paul Monroe, who's Jesus. And he has like a pretty big role in, no, in uh, All Out War. So this was awesome. And I'm getting two more Walking Dead books in the mail by tomorrow. And also like in a box of cereal, like randomly. Justice League like 6 and 8. Which is really random. I read these are actually pretty good reads for like books to come in cereal. Oh yeah, I don't know if I like zoomed in close enough on this. Might get it CGC'd in the summer. Might, hence the words might again. Eighty two. So I gotta do like two tag videos. I'm gonna do them over the weekend. Might do one like after this one. And I got my crutches right there, too. So this was really nice. The Batman book was worth, like, I paid two bucks for it. And the price tag is still on it. So that's all I have for you. I find, oh yeah, my debit card. I'm not going to, like, go in close so you can see, like, all my DPLs. My debit card for Bank of America came in yesterday, so I'm, I'm currently, like, watching and bidding on some stuff right now. One book is really nice. It's an Maze Fireman book. It's not Silver Age, but it's, like, a key still. So this is already four minutes, so shout outs to General Zod for Superman, go follow them. And congrats to DA Comics on 200 subs, shout out to him, the links will be in the description below. And uh, shout out to Spears Spider Minds, the link will be in the description, he just got like 56 subs. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. What's going on everybody?